I'm Kurt Nolte with the University of Arizona. Using clean and sanitized harvest equipment and tools is one of the most important aspects in managing your food safety program. It's always important to make sure that you have well-kept and clean pieces of equipment in the field when harvesting produce that you're trying to sell. So today, I'm going to give you some pointers on how to properly maintain and clean your harvest equipment. There should always be someone in charge and responsible for ensuring that equipment is clean and in good repair. The person in charge is responsible for making sure that the repairs to the equipment are done in a timely manner. It's important to note that the effectiveness of all cleaning procedures requires strict monitoring and evaluation through documentation and visual and microbial assessments. Your supervisors are in charge of documenting all activities, including monitoring and corrective action. A person in charge is also responsible for making sure that these procedures are followed and this includes the use of the harvest equipment cleaning and maintenance logbook. A good practice to follow that minimizes microbial contamination risk in leafy greens is keeping your hand tools such as this knife and coring ring clean and sanitized. Always keep your harvest tools in proper condition. No chipped knife blades, broken handles, or tape wrapped around handles are allowed in the field. Bins, tables, baskets, mechanical harvesters, brushes, and buckets must be cleaned and sanitized daily. Do not walk, step, sit, or lie on food contact surfaces. Make sure that drip pans are in place and check and clean them before equipment enters the field. Cleaning should only be done using potable water, and please keep in mind that the hardness of the water can also influence the effectiveness of the cleaner. A good practice to follow when cleaning and sanitizing equipment is to rinse, clean with soap, scrub, rinse again, and finally sanitize. Harvest machines and field equipment can also be a source of contamination since large farming equipment that comes into contact with soil and or compost and waters of unknown quality can be risky. It's a good suggestion to use a pressure washer when cleaning off compost, dirt, or mud from your harvest equipment. Containers and all packaging materials must be inspected before use. Look for loose pieces, pests, and pest droppings, damage, trash, and debris. Only clean and undamaged harvest materials, liners, and containers can be used in the field. Contaminated packing materials must be discarded, and contaminated reusable containers need to be washed properly. Let's work together and keep our tools and equipment properly cleaned and sanitized by following these simple guidelines. It's important to practice these recommendations to have a safe work environment in and off the field. And remember to always make sure that your harvest tools and equipment that you use are clean and sanitized and well kept so we can provide the best and freshest produce to our customers.